Good afternoon. Welcome to the first in a series of videos for the ACE Reports application. Now we're going to start today with the very basics, and that's going to be how to actually access the ACE Reports application itself. So there's two main ways we can do this, and the first of those is up here in the top ribbon. If you'll look in the top left-hand corner, you'll see that we're on the Home tab right now since that region's highlighted. I actually want to click the Accounts tab so that I can go to the Account page. Now first thing we do in the Account Type box in the top left-hand corner here, we choose the account type that we want to view the data from the perspective of. So for example, if I was an importer, I would scroll down here and select the Importer option. And then I'll select Go. Once we've done that, let's go ahead and direct our attention to the Select Task menu. And we're looking for the third option down for Reports. When you find that, go ahead and select it. Once you've chosen that, you should see this new panel pop up titled Launch Reports and Quick View Tool. Now inside of that panel, you should see a small button for Launch Tool. Let's go ahead and select that. And as a result, you should see that a new window pops up in your web browser. And what you're seeing in this new window is the Ace Reports landing page. Let's go ahead and close out of this window for now and go back to the second option that I mentioned earlier. So for accounts that aren't required to specify an account type, there's going to be a shortcut icon in the top right hand corner. It's the page with the folded over corner and the bar graph on it. If you do have that available, go ahead and select that icon. Then we should see a new tab pop up in our web browser titled BI Launchpad. And you'll see this tab's contents is the Ace Reports application. Also, to make a quick clarification, whichever method that you end up using to access the application is going to take you to the same landing page. And that's going to be it for the first video. In video two, we'll be covering how to change default settings in the application's preferences.